nuclear power plant and I would be fine. Because the only difference between a nuclear power plant and a regular power plant is what makes the heat. That's it. That's, that's it. I could work at a solar power plant. I could work in a hydro power plant. It's basically the same shit. Because the only, like, like I said, the only difference is, the, is that the nuclear power plant has a giant hot rock that makes the power. That, that heats the steam and turns the turbine. In a coal power plant, it's, uh, it, uh, they, they burn coal to heat water, which turns the turbine. In a hydro power plant, they use the water directly to turn the turbines. Um, solar power plant, they heat oil, unless it's a, uh, unless it's, um, photoelectric, which is the worst kind of, um, solar power plant you can have. If it's a, if it's a, if it's a mirrored power plant, they focus the light into a singular point and they use that to heat oil, which they use that oil to boil water, which then they use in a turbine. So as you can see, there's a, you know, doing something very specific that has a very good technical application can apply in multiple different areas. The main reason I'm not in that anymore is because, like I, I, you know, I've had I've been a, I've been an electromechanic, I've been a, a, a hydro a hydroelectric mechanic, I've been I've been all kinds of things since I got out of the navy. But there's other reasons why I'm not doing that. So because I wouldn't be able to do this, and then then that would be sad. That'd be really sad. Okay, so who can I give this to? All right, so what that means is that now Gizmo, I think I'm just gonna give Aid Protocol to Thumper. And we're gonna we're gonna get, we're gonna give him the ability to uh, just overwatch all these fools. Now what sucks is is that if that guy runs behind cover, it's gonna be bad for me. It's gonna be bad. Um, he's gonna get he's gonna get a shot at somebody. Um, who do we command? I got three of them. So let's just command Storm. Can I wait? Wait. I don't think Storm can see the dude. Can he? I'm a derp. I'm a derp. I'm a derp. Well, that's that sucks. <laughs> I thought he could see that guy, and he cannot. He cannot. Hmm. All right, let's get up in there. All right, sell me. That sucks. That was that's kind of a waste. I will overwatch him though, so that's that's good. And Yanni will move you up. That guy's not a grenadier, is he? I don't think he is. PV solar is pretty much the only electric source on any scale that isn't make electricity from spinning turbine. Yes, that is absolutely true. Even wind power is, uh, especially wind power. That's that's exactly how they do that. Got to do your dog thing, Joker. You magnificent bastard. See you soon, my dude. See you soon. Give the doggo pets for me. All right, boys. Here we go. We took the general down. We got him in panic, and commandos have Overwatch avoidance. At least he missed. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Boom. Oh, man. I was hoping to set him on fire. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. No bueno. Oh, he does have he does have the uh, the thing. So he's got a lot of defense, to be fair. He's got lots of defense. Is that a grenade? Is he going to grenade me? No, no grenade. No granatas. No granatas. Wind is a spinning turbine, the only one that isn't heated water using that turbine. Exactly, Scardi. Yes, that's exactly it. Everything else is heat water to spin a turbine. Yep, yep. Um, you can use, you can use, um, just like uh, Joker with the 80 bitties. My man, my man. Showing it right, boys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, but yeah, pretty much, pretty much everything is like that. Even, even oil, coal, it's all, it's all heat water, heat water. And one of the reasons, if you're if you're wondering why that might be, is because one of the best ways to generate power that has the most return on investment, basically, is the best way to put that, is to use. We got what we got, eleven enemies remaining. Is to use um is to use uh is to heat water because water has a very high specific heat, which means it can hold a lot of 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 energy. Ooh, is that going to pull them? What is that pulling? Okay. Oh, it's going to pull the turret. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. Got to be very careful about that. So let's let's get you let's get you down here. Let's see what we see. Oh boy. For a second I thought he, I thought he did drop all the way down there. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it has a um Machinist MOS, if you're interested in good trade. Machinist build parts. Yes, machinists are probably one of the most... The, they're probably one of the most desired and needed um, 
trade skills right now in the industry. One, one of the things that uh, over the past like 10 years since I've been out of the military, everywhere I went, oh, we need a good machinist. We need a good machinist. Now, I am not a machinist. But I can I can use a lathe to make things. I, I know how I'm a, I, I, I've been trained to do that job. Excuse me. Oh my bad. I've been trained to do a very simple version of that job. So because you know if 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 well, if uh, you know lives depended on it, I can make something to that would I could make something that would uh, if if we needed to underway. That's kind of thing. Just like I'm a welder. I'm a nuclear welder. Um, and I did that because just in case we needed it underway, it needed to get done right meow. We could do it right meow. All right, boys. We're just, I'm just going to blow these guys up. Yep. Granadas. Skaboosh. Skabadoosh. Just a man of love and respect. So there's one Nightwing, my dude. Thank you for that. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh sevens, indeed. Oh sevens all around, boys. Oh sevens all around. All right. What do we got? So, yeah, they're pretty separated. Hmm. I do have I do have a good shot there though, so I'm gonna take that. I think I'm gonna take that. That guy's coming up next turn, so. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do? Unfortunately, dudes, I need to go. Uh, I need to go uh, do that thing. So stand by. Stand by. Stand by. I presume modern machinists have CNC experience. Uh, it depends. Yes and no. You should uh, have that, but that's not necessarily the case. Uh, I was trained old school, and it wasn't until I got out of the military that I got the good shit. Uh, and that was just because I was I was an emergency, you know. So it was basically like, oh my god, we need this part. Wrap me out, or we're all gonna die. Go do it. And that was that was basically what it was. How much HP you got? I got fourteen. You got nine. He's only got two shots, but I can I can give him an extra. I can give him an extra. So here's what I'm doing. We're doing this. We're gonna light you up, boy. Sit down, asshole. Abomination. Abomination. The greatest. The greatest. Um. Actually, you know what? You know what? I think, I think, I think I'm gonna do this because I want, I want to have some fun with Wozniak here. Wozniak, get it, boy, get it now. Yeah, because the industry does need it. Yes, that's true. That's true. That's why. I, that's why I couldn't get a job as a machinist. Uh, game, don't break, don't break. <laughs> Is because of that, but I, I never wanted to be a machinist anyway. It does, that, that kind of thing doesn't interest me as much as I love being like super pedantic and all kinds of ooh, ooh and other things. It was uh, work fixing machines, and it was always it was always my forte. Something I always love to do. Yes, die fool, die. Show serves you right, Xenos scum. Serves you right. Hmm. A lot of machine shops still have still have the need for non. They do, they do. Um, every every shop that I worked at, especially the like smaller shops that weren't like huge corporations, they all had lathes that did not have the giant um, uh, stuff on them, so they were manual. I had to I had to use it I had to use it a couple times when I worked at a place called Ram where they were it was hydraulic Ram repair shop. Loved that place, absolutely great. Um, and I had, and it was, it was the place I got the most experience using, using a lathe since the military. It's just because you needed to, you needed to have as many hats as you could possibly get. And I was like, do you know how to use this machine? And I was like, yeah, I know how to use it. But, uh, you know, <laughs> if you want me to make, you want me to make parts that have like, you know, less than a millimeter of tolerance, <laughs> you might, you might be barking up the wrong tree. I was like, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. 
This is like with my welding. My welding is specifically specifically for nuclear parts. So um, I know how to weld very well. I don't know how to weld very specific metals very well. The problem is, is that when it concerns other things like that, that have brass and nickel and uh, br when that has brass and like tin antimony in it, that's what when it gets a little, it? little, little odd for me because I can't really, I'm not as experienced with those, with those things. Now here's an interesting conundrum. I should be able to move here Sounds and it like shouldn't pull anything. So any place doing hydraulic schematics? Yeah. Metal lay manual lathe is going to be, yeah. Oh yeah. It was, it was good. It was good. I loved that thing. I had so much fun on it. <laughs> so much fun. But it's one of those things where it's like I, I didn't want to do it as my regular day job. I wanted it. I, it was it was nice to be able to. Oh, they're still there. Oh, that's awesome. So it was nice to be able to, to be able to say I could do and that I could, you know, every now and then to break up the grind just to just to get on it, which was awesome. And I'm going to move you to there. I'm going to get Yanni on Sparky's butthole. Sparky, Sparky, Sparky. So we got seven bros left. It's basically these guys, and then we're done. And they haven't moved, so we're gonna hold what we got. I think we're gonna hold what we got. Does everybody, anybody else need some reloads? Let's see what we got here. Um, Gizmo, let's move you to here. I, like I think we're good. I really want to reload him. Um, I could. Oh yeah, yeah. Advanced teamwork. Totally. Totally. Reporting for duty. One day I'll get some home machines and try to become a gunsmith. Dude, gunsmiths are awesome. I, dude, that's one thing I've always wanted to get into is gunsmithing. And I totally can. I have, the, I have the ability to do it. I just don't have the experience with actually using it on guns. If you know what I mean. Hmm. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Do I move up? Do I move it on up? Let's move it on up to here at least. Let's move it on up to here. Someone has to live the stereotype, <laughs> right? IT is the epitome of chair force. Yeah, well, that's the thing. That's one of the reasons why I prided myself on being, have good military bearing and being a good marksman. I'm, a, I'm an expert marksman with every weapon that I could qualify with. And I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a marksman with every weapon that you can only get marksman with, which is like most of the machine guns. <laughs> or excuse me, most of the automatic machine guns. Um, so, and shotgun, shotgun, Sh dude, the shotgun course was fun. Oh my God. Was it amazing? Oh, I love that thing. I've always wanted to do it again and uh, as a civilian, um, and go pay for it. Cause it is, it is fun. It's super fun. Shooters expensive, even for rusty old lays with millimeter with milling centers. Yes, it is. It is gunsmith. You mean a shop and sell repair guns? Um, honestly, for me, it would just be, it would just be a hobby that I might do on the side for make a little cash. Also, also can repair phones and shit. Cause I, I took a couple courses on that, did a, did a few and it's uh, not that hard. It's actually pretty awesome. Funnily enough. Pretty awesome. All right. So if I ever, vi I can ever vigilant up to here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking here. Let's see if I move Sparky. Uh, da, 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 da. let's go. They're not moving, so I'm just gonna move Sparky here. Shouldn't pull them. Shouldn't pull them. Gonna move you. I'm gonna move you to there, most definitely. Let's actually move you up here, so we get a good view of these guys. But it's just like it's like a it's like a talent stack. Uh, it's like Scott Adams talks about a lot. One of the things you want to do in life, if you really want to succeed, and I really believe this now that I've that I've seen him talk about it so many so much is that um having a having a good skill stack is is better than being the best at something uh because what it allows you to do is it allows you to it allows you to do many different things so it's one of the reasons why i did the like iphone repair thing and one of the reasons why i wanted to stream of course i wanted to stream because i've always been a super ultra mega nerd when it comes to games and stuff like that and and I have a really, I think, I think I have a pretty good voice. And I think uh, I have a pretty sexy personality. Don't tell my wife. She wouldn't know. She wouldn't know nothing about that. So, and, 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 you know, to, to not to, not to be hum, not to be too humble. Uh, it, but anyway, yeah. So, <laughs> I can't help it, dude. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's been ingrained into me. I can't, I can't overly brag. And it was, it was, it was actually a detriment, detriment to me in the Navy, because when you do your, 
when you do your um, evaluations, you're supposed to like sell yourself and brag and all that other shit. And I, I just, I, it's hard for me to do that. It's hard for me to do that. But anyway, um, I thought I, I thought I had what it takes, and uh, you know, I can scream with the best of them, boys. I can scream with the best of them. I have a pretty loud. Oh shit! I forgot about the freaking turret. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it, Bobby! Why you do that to me? Why you do that to me? Um. Well, we get some focus. That's good. Gunsmiths build guns and fix them. Sales is part, but it's mostly servicing what other people own. Yeah, yeah. I would love to do that. All right. So, um, I honestly, the main reason I want to be a gunsmith is so I can build my own guns, so I can buy them like super cheap and build them. I think it's right there. I'm pretty sure it's right there. Let's see. Let's see. Insert inappropriate Navy joke here, except it's Thursday. Oh! Oh, there you go. There you go. Boom! And the turret is dead! Bye-bye, turret! Jackass. You! Jackass! Okay, so... Volt. Where are we gonna move you, bud? Where are we putting your ass? Oh, hello. That's, that's, that's actually a really good spot. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's go over there. I can do that. Let's go over there. Let's go over there. And Gizmo. Gizmo. Let's get you right here. And I'm going to scan. Because I can. Because I scan. Because I scan. Cause, wait, what? I'm sorry. Huh? That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's everything. Sweet. Okay. That's all she wrote, boys. And we're going to hold right where we got. I kind of want to do the kill zone, but if they don't move, I'm going to wait to do it next turn. And we're also going to move you. We're also going to move you to right here. Because we're definitely going to need that guy. We're definitely going to need that guy. Yes. Yes. Okay. Overwatch. Yeah, no problem, Nightwing. Um, I mean, that's one of the reasons why, I mean, I love you guys so much, man. We've, we've created such an awesome, like, little little tight-knit community here, and I absolutely love it. So thank you guys for being so very awesome. Cannot, cannot stress enough just how much it makes it. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying, boys. I feel you. Hopefully not too much, though. All right, so do we open it like a can opener? I say we open it like a can opener. Oh, yeah. Like a can opener. All right, let's let's uh, let's get Yanni, and we will get the kill zone. Das kill zone. And we're going to get, if I move up at all, that will give us. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and use Gizmo to give you Ever Vigilant. Excuse me, not Ever Vigilant. Um, threat Assessment, which will give you three shots. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, do you tell people there are no Air Force jokes? They're all, they're all true stories. Well, of course. Why would you do? Why would you do any less? Why would you do any less? And there's the magnificent bastard right now, Joker. Oh man, love you, buddy. All right, here we go. You guys ready? You guys ready? Can opener time. Mm -hmm. There it is. Badoosh. How you like me now, boys? Let's see what happens. Come on, Yanni! Yes! Die, fool! Die! <laughs> yes! Shred that armor! Oh, it's glorious. It's glorious. Pew, 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 pew! Ooh, did it kill him? Yes! Everyone else is just jealous. Keller! It's not fair. It's not fair. No, Yanni! You were the chosen one. You were the chosen one. All right. Well, that was that was kind of that was actually still kind of good. I mean, you know, stuff and things, stuff and things. And look, we still got we still got shots, bros. We still got shots. Can he kill it? That's the question. Can he kill it? Do I want him to kill it? That's another question. We got that advanced shock trooper over there. Um, I think it might be time for murder. I think this might be time when it might be time for us. 13 to 17, that eh, might be a kill. 15, eh, 14 to 18. Okay, so what we want to do, here's what we want to do. We want to we want to we want to make sure we want to make sure that we've got the proper murderization technique here. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do. No worries. No worries. 
Scabamoosh! Bubby Bop Boo. You guys, you guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. Uh, do you have low enough HP? You do. You do indeed. Um, hmm. Let's also, let's also move to here. Yes, 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 yes. Let us, let us do this. We shall do this. We shall do this. And we will vault. I want to vault them, but I don't need to. I want to vault this guy. I want to vault this guy. Die, fool. Die. Five damage. Not as not as good. You're right, TS is not fair, but we tend to have better chow halls and living quarters and equipment. Yeah. One of the things I uh, that I learned being in being in the Navy, specifically on a submarine, and the reason it taught me this is because you have to wear the crew is so small that you have to wear a lot of hats on a submarine. So there's a lot of stuff you got to do. I mean, I was uh, I was the Nightwing. 0501 greetings and salutations friend welcome to the channel thank you for the follow my dude we're gonna take good care of you here at the tango crew welcome to the tango hotel yes indeed yes indeed but um i forgot what i was saying oh that's right um you have to wear a lot of hats so at one point i was the Ooh, that might be good that might be good that might be good i'm taking that shot i'm taking it i'm taking it boom you're dead Ah, 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 very nice. And he's still in stealth. That's hilarious. Okay, but at one point, uh, I was the, I was the, I was the fire control petty officer, which meant I had to take care of all the, had to take care of all the um, firefighting equipment on board, and make sure they were up to date, and all this other stuff. I had to. At one point, I was the, uh, I was the petty officer in charge of uh, buying equipment for my. For my uh, division and dealing with uh, replacement parts and all kinds of other stuff. And boy, oh boy, did I learn some shit about the Navy. Just let me rephrase that. I learned some shit about the government I never wanted to learn. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. And uh, what did I learn, you say? What, Tango, what in the world did you learn? Well, I learned the military. You, if you thought the government wasted money, you have no idea. How bad it actually is, man. It is absolutely insane how much money was wasted on board my submarine. Um, and that's just one that's just one boat. That's just one boat. And it wasn't because sailors were wasting it. No. It was the military's own bullshit that was wasting it. That was that was the real issue. One of the one of the things that they did is they have this thing where you have this list of people you can buy from and a list of people you can ship from. And so because of the whole, like, uh, the, the the modern cultural movement to inclusivity and all this other bullshit, if, if someone who is, who is uh, non-white and non-male owns a company, you have to buy from them. If someone who is non-white and non-male uh, has a shipping company, and they can ship it, you have to ship with them, even if it costs more through them, even if they charge more to ship it through them. So, basically, <laughs> and I'm not joking when I say this, that's exactly how it works. So, you could have a part that, that would cost $5 at Ace Hardware, and because it's, you're buying it from the government, it costs $10. Because it's a nuclear part, now it costs $100 because it has to be, it has all kinds of other bullshit it has to go through it. And then you, you charge another like 20% on top of that, so you're talking about a $5 part. Then ends up costing one hundred twenty dollars, and the the funny thing is, only twenty dollars of that actually has to do with the fact that you have to pick from those lists, and then to ship it costs another thirty dollars. So in the end, it ends up costing you know hundreds of percent more than it actually would cost otherwise. And I think we're just gonna let's see, do I have any moves? Do I want? I mean, it's just robots, right? Just drones. Drones are fine, right? We can, we can totally kill them. They're right there, aren't they? Let's see what happens. No Let's see what happens. I want to see if it kills them both. Or if it's just one of them. Boom! Targets eliminated. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Yes! Confirmed. Yes! Ah, ah, ah. Did it! Did it! Especially when it gets close to October, no office wants to lose funding and spends whatever is left before they, the new fiscal year. And you're right. How much government overspends on overpriced stuff? Yeah. Um... 
there was a story in the Navy Times when I was in. I remember reading it um, because it was while I was training to be the petty officer who was uh, in charge of buying stuff. The guy was uh, the guy was training me. Um, I forgot to take a photo. Oh well, whoopsie. And uh, he showed me the article in Navy Times where this uh, this company run by these two women were shipping bolts. They they uh, they had a shipping company, and uh, they were shipping stuff to Afghanistan and Iraq, where uh, they had uh, Navy guys. You know, it was, from, it was from the Navy, so they were shipping just random shit uh, for power plant mechan- maintenance and all kinds of other stuff, and uh, to the sand sailors. And so what they discovered is is that they could, is that because they were they were female owned and they were not white that they would get most of the bit if they could if they could do it and they could take it then they would get the business and they knew that no matter what they raised their price to they would have to pick them because of how the thing works like if you don't do it you will get in trouble that's actually how bad it was i mean it won't it won't be too bad unless you continually violate the the standing order to to do it but you will get in, in trouble eventually like to the point where they will take money away from you and throw you in the brig and shit and so, at one point, eventually they got caught, quote unquote, and basically they were they they had sh- they had charged uh, the the United States Navy, the Department of Defense, I think it was fifteen grand to ship a box of twenty dollar bolts to Afghanistan. Now, normally it would only cost like fifty bucks to ship something like that to their military style, if that. And, I mean, the military could have done it for damn near nothing. Um, but, the, and, and they didn't even really get caught. They didn't get in any trouble because they didn't do anything wrong. The, the, the way the, the thing worked is they could do that. But what I mean they got caught is they made them stop doing it. They told them if they, if they did anything like that again, they, they, they'd stop using them as a, as a, as a military uh, facilitator. But they charged the military 15 grand. And this is not the thing. This wasn't the first time they did this. They've been doing it for months. Upping it, upping the price a little bit each time. So it had been, they had at least gone at least several months shipping little tiny things for thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars without anybody really noticing. Because, I mean, when you're told to do it, who are you going to report it to, right? I think what happened is is that uh, somebody, oh, Wiz got hit, got hit for nine days. Eight days? Eight days. I think what, I think what happened is, is that somebody in the higher up of the chain of command got wind of it and they, like, threw a hissy fit. <laughs> um... So it was it was it was quite insane, quite insane. And some of the stuff, don't get me wrong, some of the stuff is actually quite expensive, and it is expensive for a reason. Like, I had a wrench set that was technically mine, quote unquote. Damn, we got five muton corpses. Did we get in, we got an elite? We got one elite corpse. It was technically my wrench set because um, I was the uh, I was also the standing nuclear petty officer. So if there needed to be if there was emergency repairs to be done in the reactor compartment with. Uh, with this, with this wrench set, it was technically mine. And so, I, you know, it, basically what that meant is I was responsible for it. I didn't own it or anything. Uh, but it meant I was responsible for it. So I had to know where it was. I had to make sure I had to maintain it. I had to keep all the logs and shit up with it. Ooh, they can train. Very nice. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, but the wrench set would cost about $120 if you went to, like, Lowe's or Home Depot. $120 wrench set. Not too bad, right? It cost me $10,000 to buy it for the submarine and the reason it cost ten thousand dollars is because it was you know like two hundred dollars for the actual wrench set and then it had to go through all the nuclear bullshit that you had to do you had to send it to like three different places to get it tested to make sure it's like non-radioactive to test how much its background radiation is because every every single object on the planet has its own background radiation they basically go into a shielded room and use a a, a uh, uh god i can't remember the name of them um the nuclear detectors, I can't remember what they're freaking called at the moment. Um, and they, they, they detect what kind of, uh, what, how much radiation comes from the actual object itself. And then they write all that down and they test it multiple times and it's all kind of crazy nonsense. And that, that's what makes it end up costing so much. Well, a Geiger counter is a very specific, uh, I believe it's called radometer. Radometer? I can't remember. Like I said, I can't remember the specific name that it was called. It's for some reason I'm blanking. But a Geiger counter is a very specific one that they use for general radiation detection. They basically put it directly above background radiation. And should anything go above background radiation, it like lights up. It's the it's the most sensitive, least accurate type of uh, type of uh, radiation detection device. So, but uh, no, they would not use a Geiger counter. Geiger counters are for specific things. Like if you're walking into like a uh, a radiation area 
and you need to know if if their ambient radiation is higher than you need it to be. So you 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 know you'd walk in, you go click 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 click, and then you walk over to a corner. And goes Krrr. that means you know you need to back 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 the f up. You know what I'm saying? Get get away from that. You need to back on up. Um, that's what that's for. Um, funnily enough, I know how they all work from the inside out because we're required in all that bullshit. I could draw diagrams. I could draw diagrams, for God's sakes. Okay, yeah, that was that was the best part about being a nuke. Yay, it's the diagrams. The diagrams. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's the final mission. I was like, ooh, there's a, we got another tower mission? That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so, Super 6. Got 57% on Super 6. So I think what's going to happen here is we've got one base assault. We've got another one down here as well. I think we are going to do this. We're going to wait... Where's Tango? Tango Down is on that facility. Who do we have available to do this? I think we need to wait a few days for our dudes to get fully healed up before we can do that base as well. Because I think I think we're going to do all of these. I think we're going to do all of these before we end this bad boy. So we've got Wolf. What do you do? You guys are infiltrating. So you guys are ready. Guinness is ready. You're in South Africa. I can't believe we did not take a freaking sniper on that mission i'm like so oh he's got 10 days on that shit what what come on now that's not even cool man that's not even cool it's not even not even cool um you're wounded so it was uh one two three four five six seven eight nine six seven eight then we brought yanni and it was tango so 10 yeah so yeah but i didn't bring steppenwolf that's weird that is very weird. Very, 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 very weird. Very weird. All right. Um, do we bring Thumper? The thing about it is, is that I got who's who's available? Squad management. It was it was Guinness. Yeah, Guinness is available, and so is his. So is Hunter. So we could actually we could actually field this next one. We could just go ahead and go ahead and get her done. We won't have a Sabro, but I mean that's that's not a, that's not the biggest deal, is it? I don't think so. I don't think it is. And hmm, 55 enemies. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, sectoid commander, hive queen. What else? Come on, what else? Is it as uh, a gatekeeper or sectopods? Sectopods. Okay, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see what we got here. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, so geckos, uh, you guys might want to might want to might want to take a backseat here. So I might want to get Valentine back on this bad boy. They got eight days with Nexo, and yeah, so I won't have a, I won't have a Cybro. Although I'm not overly concerned about that, I do want to bring a sniper. So we're definitely bringing Valentine. South Africa is where she's at. Is that is that right? Yeah, South Africa is where she's at. So we'll uh, we'll just uh, I might even bring two because uh, I'm kind of mad that I didn't bring one. So I might you know, like overcompensate for this one. So we're gonna we're probably gonna make that happen. Probably gonna make that happen. Wolf. Let's go, buddies. Let's go. Looking good. Looking good. Um, hmm. Snipper, 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 snipper. So we need to give you an assault rifle. I got more than enough bullshit, right? Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of bullshit. I just don't know how many cores I have. How many cores do I have? Let us see, shall we? Was it like four, three, six? I got six cores. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. We're good. We're good. I can make plenty of, plenty of DACA, plenty of DACA. And I don't need, I don't need cores to make armor. So yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. I do need cores to make the armor that I want to give her though. And I need a core to make the hollow targeter. Does she have rapid targets? She does. Look at that. Look at that. So awesome. So very awesome. Okay. So we got Wolf is available. Super six is out with <laughs> a bunch of extra bros. They are infiltrating, sir. They're doing bond training, so that's fine. So we got Wolf, and I think we're going to bring some Gecko Bros, except for you. Because uh, not only are you afraid of mutons, you magnificent bastard. Um, oh, yeah, well, yeah. I don't know why we didn't bring Steppenwolf. That's so weird. That's so weird, man. So very weird. Um, what is you? What is you? What is you? Interface, threat assessments. So you're not an Overwatch bro, okay? And your aim is pretty shit. So what about? See, you are tired, so we're gonna leave you. We're gonna are we gonna bring Yanni again? I think we are. 
I think we are. Yeah, we'll bring Yanni again. Get him in this bad boy. And then, uh... Who else? Who else? Warbird? I think it's, uh... Let's see. If we're going Voodoo... Uh, it's Steppenwolf, Gunda. We might want to bring Warbird and Knockout. Warbird and Knockout. Yeah, we don't have a Grenadier, so Warbird and Knockout. Warbird and Knockout. Yes. And get your bro. That first time I've actually think I've thrown a firebomb in this entire freaking game. Awesome, right? So very awesome. And then we're going to grab our uh, Snipperino here. Steppenwolf with her amazing sauce wraith suit. And we got two slots left. Who does that go to? Who does who 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 we got left? Who we got left, boys? We got uh let's let's check it out. Geckos. So we go Wozniak. We already have a Shinobi though. We got Warbird and Knockout. We already got them. We could grab Gizmo. Who's got 132 hack? Wolf, what is your kill? Has 110 hack. Okay, I see, I see. So, a little bit low on the hack there. 113 with you. You got better aim, too. We could bring a... You're already on the mission. Okay, so who else is available? Who else? Dodger? Roger, 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 Dodger. It looks like that's about it, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, we got, we got, we got a Tango we can bring. Tango, bango, baby. Tango, bango. Uh, we might actually do that. Tango, eh, p -tours in the wings. Yeah, we're, we're going to bring Tango. And we're also going to bring Dodger. Yeah, another Shinobi is always welcome as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned. Either one of you have Scanny Balls. Neither one of you have Scanny Balls. How dare you, sir? How dare you? You know what else we need? We need, uh, we need, uh, where's the, where's the thingy at? Where is it at? Give it to me now. I don't know. You know what I just realized? We don't have... Oh, yeah, we do. We got Guinness McJamus. He's my shooty bro. He's my shooty, shooty, shooty bro. Let's give you a muscle shirt. Muscle shirt ho! Muscle shirt ho. Knockout's going to be full-on grenades. You've got a wraith suit with a regular hollow targeter. Do I actually have another hollow targeter? I do not. Do you have rapid targeting? You do not, and I can't get it either. You don't have anything I want, either. Um, does anybody actually have any stuff? You do have something I can I can probably grab. Uh, Executioner. I could grab Sentinel. Ever Vigilant? I mean, why not, right? We're at the end. It's all good, right? Scan. I can grab Scanning. Scanning Protocol. I'm going to grab Scanning Protocol. I'm going to grab Scanning Protocol. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. He's got Interference as well, so that's pretty good. You have that now that's interesting so do i do i do i leave that alone you got 98 aim there steppenwolf you got 101 um let's actually give you stiletto we can uh we can i think we got some stiletto laying around no we don't okay so what we're gonna do i'm gonna back this up and we're gonna grab stiletto we're gonna grab uh, armor pan armor piercing. We're gonna grab stiletto with you, and then we're gonna grab blue screen with you. Yeah, you've got less aim. It's not like you're not gonna be able to hit the sectopod, but I want to be able to take out those uh, those turrets if at all possible with her. And we're going to give you a hollow targeter because you've got. Um, She's got the ability. She's got rapid targeting, so. Um, it's an Andromedon. Boom. Nice. I could give it to I could give it to both of them. But I think we'll be okay. And oh, there is a Wraith suit just chilling. Is that what we grab? I think so. I think so. Wraith suits are good. Grappling hooks are badass. And I mean there's nothing else I could give you that I would want you to have other than what you got. Right? Right. Could give. I need. I also need a rifle for you. Is there a rifle available? There is not. Okay, we make one. We make one. And let's. Uh, what are we gonna have in the rifle? We're we gonna have an, an auto loader. Yes. We are going to have a hair trigger, and we're we gonna go scope or stock. 
think we're gonna go stock. Because I'm probably not gonna be shooting with his ass. So I'm probably gonna be giving commands or something else, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're gonna go with there. Let's go with armor, or excuse me, weapons, and we're gonna go plasma rifle. Boom! Finally, we got seven of them bad boys. Seven of them bad boys. Look at that. So sexy. So very sexy. It's all nice and dark and shiny. Nice and dark and shiny. Elite hair trigger. Auto loader. Stock. Ooh. Maybe we do give it a... Uh, yeah, we, we are going to give it a scope as well. I forgot that we got four of these bad boys. Four of these bad boys. Cheers to you, Joker. Dink. Ruh -ruh. I think I need to get some coffee here in a little bit. Uh, let me go check and see if I've got any, if any is made. I don't know if it is. I'll be right back real quick. I'm just going to go check. If it is, it, whether it is or not, I'm going to, I'm going to let you know. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Be right back. Indubitably. All right. Unfortunately, there is no coffee, so we'll uh, we'll probably I'll probably end up making some here in just a minute. Let me uh, let me finish what I'm doing here, and I'll go make some coffee. The waifu uh, went to go shopping, so I'm not gonna not gonna say no. She is, after all, um, making my child. So we'll uh, we'll just leave it at that. Now here's a question: Do I bring? There's a sectopod on this bad boy. Do I bring... I almost kind of want to bring a blue screen bomb. The only problem with that I have with them is they only do maximum of 10 damage. They do 9. And then they do plus 10 because he's got it, right? So these do 4 to 8, right? And your damage is increased by... What is it? Biggest... It's not biggest boons. That's not what it is. It's... Um, do 1 additional damage. Yeah, so they'll do 10 damage. And they have a chance to crit. And they, like, lower the hack and all that other shit, right? But, um... Hmm. Two mechanical enemies. Nor armor. Can be thrown farther. Damage falls off from air of effect. Hmm. It's like I want to, but on the other hand, I'm kind of like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um. Hmm. I mean, we. I mean, yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what? Screw it. Screw it. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna bring some EMP bombs. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. We got a sectopod. There's probably gonna be a pod full of mechs and shit. So, and it's got a huge radius, so I'll be able to obliterate those fools. The only issue that I'm gonna have with it is that I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to shred their armor. It would be nice if the EMP bomb also shredded armor. Uh, but it does not. It does not. So maybe instead of using the plasma blaster, I use a shred storm cannon. Let's go around. Plasma blaster is fun. Shred storm cannon is better in my opinion. It just it just is, man. It's nice that it's got like the three wide, but it just it just kind of sucks. Okay, and do I give you a pistol? Do I have a beam pistol? I do have a beam pistol for you, and you have 13 mobility with it, right? Yeah, you do have quick draw. You have quick draw, but you do not have lightning lightning reflexes or light. Is it lightning hands? You do not have lightning hands. Do you have lightning hands? No, no, neither one of them do. That's fine. That's fine. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Okay, let's make sure everybody's got what they need. You're looking good there, buddy. Med kit. I really think I want to give you some scanty balls. I really think I want to give you a scanty ball. Yeah, there we go. And you're looking good there. So you've got 10 HP with four armor. 16 two, 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 with four blade of armor is what I was getting at. And this thing only gives you like one armor, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of sucks. Um, or it doesn't give you any armor. You get the bonus armor from that thing. So everybody's got warden armor. Want to make sure of that, except the race suits. For the grappling hooks. Oh, the grappling hooks. Elite stocks, elite scopes, elite expanded magazines. Elite scopes, 
Leaf Spin Magazine, and Elite Stocks. Excellent. So everybody's got Elite stuff. Oh, no, you have an Advanced Auto Loader? Uh-uh. No, you don't. No, you don't, boy. You ain't got no Advanced Auto Loader. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. We're going to grab a couple of those. Can't let you roll out here with that scrub, stock, scrub nonsense. And what about you, Tango? You got, you got full good? Elite, Elite, and Elite. Excellent. We gotta make sure, gotta make sure we're up to date here. And, oh, another advanced auto loader. See, this is why, this is why I made two. Probably gonna need to make more, aren't I? Elite scope, elite stock, elite expanded magazine. Excellent. And you've you've had elite stuff for a while, so yeah, you've had elite stuff for a while. What about you? Auto loader, hair trigger, and stock. Absolutely. I've already looked at you. And oh, you've only got an advanced hair trigger. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Oh, an advanced stock. Holy shit, dude. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, so we already got two elite hair triggers, and we'll grab the elite stock. Okay, good. Damn it, damn it, Guinness. What you doing, boy? What you doing? Elite hair trigger and elite stock. Boom. So in the next update, this is going to go back to the original usage where it's going to give you steady weapon for the stock. That does kind of suck because one of the main reasons I use the stock is because it, it gives you that graze chance. I actually like this. I actually like this. I think, and I think it's much better than the uh, the guaranteed damage from the base game. I don't like the guaranteed damage. It, it basically makes it to where uh, like your rangers can do an automatic six damage. Like even if they miss, it doesn't matter. You can just rapid fire. Like I could do nine damage on with an elite stock on a ranger. I could do nine damage. Because you do regular shot and then you do uh, rapid fire. So minimum nine damage. Minimum. Minimum. Even if you miss, minimum nine damage. All right, boys. We got we got Operation Northern Whale. We got Squad Wolf ready to rock and roll. Assault the Advent Headquarters 55 to 57. We got Guinness, Valentine, Hunter, Kill, Waco, Wabird, Knockout, Stepping Wolf, Dodger. And Tango Hotel himself, Mr. Sparky. Yes, indeed. 20-day infiltration. We're totally boosting this bitch. So no worries on that. Everybody's good to go. Everybody's got all their goodies. Goodies, 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 goodies. I got you a Vibro Blade, so you're good. I really do wish you had bonus stuff, because I would totally get you combatives if I could. But that's okay. That's okay. And you have katanas. Do we have the... Do we actually have the axe available? I don't think we do, do we? No, we do not. Okay, that's fine. We got Fusion Blade. That's good enough. Is good enough, yes. Yes, it is totally good enough. And Mag Shotty, Mag Shotty. All right, everybody's got a blade of armor that needs it. I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to give it to you because I'm not really sure how much hack I want to give, right? He's got 12, if I... Let me think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Mm, how much do I care about hacking? Not much. Not much, honestly. It's one of those things, it's like, do I give you a blade of armor and sacrifice the Skulljack for the bonus to hacking? Because, I mean, look, we're not, what are we going to hack? Either it's either going to be a robot that we don't care about, or, you know what, screw it. We'll go tag vest. Give him 15 HP with that bonus armor. I hope I can. No, I got to have the Skulljack. I got to have the Skulljack. I mean, he's not going to be taking it. We're not going to be doing anything with him. We're not going to be doing anything with him. What, what, are you, what are you getting at, boy? What you getting at, boy? All right, boys. We ready? Let's roll. Let's do it. Two big three. <laughs> For honor and glory awaits. Yes, indubitably. All right, boys. I need to go make some coffee real quick. And uh, it's going to be out 10 minutes after that before I can get it. So I'm going to, we're going to go make it. And then we're going to come back. And uh, then, uh, yeah. All right, so stand by, stand by, stand by. We will be right back after these few messages from our break screen. Stay tuned, my dudes. Oh, yes, and I finally got the music fixed. So enjoy.
dudes, we have returned, and with coffee! Yes, indeed, my friends, yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. So good, I want to thank you guys for being here today. It is very, very awesome. Thank you so much, very much appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and flicker back over. Let's go ahead and flicker back over. Thank you for your patience. It is very, very awesome for you. And thank you guys for being here today. Cannot thank you enough just how awesome it is, how humble I am. Every single day you guys come to watch me punch the Xenos scum. Gelbora with that tango life. With that tango life. You guys ready? Let's keep going. Let's keep on scanning. Let's get on get on done here. Let's get on. And I mean, do I care? Not really. <laughs> I think we're just gonna I think we're just Oh god, no. No! Bad. Bad Xenos.